Today I watched a guy threaten an Apple retailer employee with his Twitter power. You'll be surprised at the number of followers I have. It will put a dent on Apple, he told her. Reddit, what act of douchebaggery have you witnessed lately? And did you do anything about it? I was at an Apple service provider, waiting for an iPod Nano replacement, when this guy who was talking to another Apple employee started threatening her. He was furious because she wouldn't replace his iPad. She was extremely, and unbelievably, patient and repeatedly tried to explain to him that the store was just an authorized service provider, and not an Apple store, and that they would need approval from Apple's regional office to replace his iPad. He asked for a piece of paper, scrawled his Twitter handle on it, and repeatedly told the girl to check it to see how many followers he had. You'll be surprised, he said. I'll be tweeting about this. Show your manager and maybe they'll change their mind. He also said his number of followers will put a dent on Apple, and that he'll never buy another Apple product again. He also repeatedly threw down his iPhone onto the counter, to demonstrate that he couldn't break it. He was still at it when I left. Nuts. Edit, I jotted down the Twitter handle he gave the girl, and looked it up when I got home. It's owned by some Canadian hockey player, 200,000 plus followers, who is in another part of the world, and who looked nothing like the guy at the store. Retail manager here. My store has a really crappy price match policy. There are a few things we will not match, one of those is when you need to use a loyalty card to get the deal. I had an older gentleman come in to price match 5 bottles of Pepsi. We sold them for $1.50, and a competitor sold them for $1. Couldn't price match because the competitor deal needed their loyalty card. This is where it went from zero to crazy in 3 seconds. The guy grabbed one of the bottles, starts to open it and says, well, if you won't match it, I guess I have to pour this pop over your register, what are you going to do then? Followed with a smirk. I kept my cool, didn't miss a beat and stated, okay, I am going to have to call the cops then. He got super upset and couldn't understand why I would call the cops for him, and I tried to explain that he just threatened to vandalize the store's property. After he understood, he walked out. All over $2.50. I worked at a local cold stone when I was a kid. This shop was owned by a family who had kids in my high school, so... I was pretty close with the owners. On a particularly busy afternoon, I was whipping up someone's ice cream, when I overhear things getting heated at the cash register. One of our owners Lynn was working there, and an upset woman was complaining about the price of her order. Lynn broke down each item, and how much tax was to which, the customer responded that she deserved a discount, and if she didn't get one, that she would be calling her good friends who owned this establishment. Lynn calmly said, I'm Lynn, and I own this establishment. Please leave. I've never seen someone turn red so fast. Lynn, I just so happen to have the owner's number right here, and the phone's right there if you want to call them right now. Grabs phone and dials number, Lynn's cell phone starts ringing, picks up, get the duck out. Bartending once, I picked up a table so a server could go home early, and the guests at the table were super rude to me. They wouldn't call me by my name, just kept calling me different racial slurs against white people, even though I'm Mexican. I smiled and gave them great service, but it was clear they were trying to get something free. When they asked for my manager, I couldn't hear what they were telling him, but, the couple seated at the end of the bar near their table spoke up, and told my manager they were lying. We ended up calling the police when they refused to pay their tab, which was over a hundred dollars. They ended up paying it, then my manager calmed $10 off so I could get a tip. I tried to buy the nice couple at the bar around, and my manager calmed that too. When I was 18, I worked at a Toys R Us, and a lot of people thought that it was a fun job, because we are surrounded by toys. It wasn't. People get crazy about their ducking toys and games for their brat kids. But one guy always stands out. I was working the customer service desk which entailed returns, checkouts, answering phones. One day I was working the desk, and there was a long line of people. Everyone was being very patient with me answering phones and helping everyone check out, but this one guy had an attitude right away. He kept mumbling loudly about how horribly rude I was, and that I wasn't working fast enough. 
he bought his crap and walked away. I thought it was over, but he quickly came back into the store, and cut the entire line. He started telling me to find him a pair of scissors, so he could open his purchase. I calmly explained that I didn't have a pair of scissors, and I really didn't. He then proceeded to come around the desk, physically push me out of the way, and start opening all of the drawers. My manager witnessed the whole thing, and came over and told him to get out of the ducking store. The guy then screamed at my manager to call the police and see if he cared. We didn't have to call the police, because there was an off-duty one in line, and he quickly explained to the man that he was being detained until police arrived. He quickly shut the duck up, and was subsequently arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment. Enjoy your ducking toys asshole. There was a massive line at the grocery store that was going halfway back into the store, and only one checker. The checker was working his ass off sweating it big time. Everyone in the line is calm, and patiently waiting for backup to arrive. Then an old lady and some stupid looking fat dude come to the side of the line, and start berating the checker as if it's his fault. This pair does not get in line, and the harassment continues for almost a minute. Everyone in line is super uncomfortable, then all of a sudden all of my pent up rage from working in retail and being in a similar situation causes me to ducking snap. I scream at them to get in the back of the line, because they are no better than all of us, and to stop harassing the checker, because it is not his ducking fault. The old lady just leaves her cart, starts crying, and they both leave. All of us in line had a good laugh, and checker thanked me profusely. TLDR. I made an old lady cry, and I felt great about it. I once worked at a little gaming store next to a big retailer. I don't get commission or anything, just helped kids pick out games and whatever. Sell the odd Xbox here and there. Some guy comes in asking me to match the retailer's deal on a Nintendo DS, for whatever management reason, I couldn't do it. He starts to get pissed off, and there's nothing I can do, my hands are tied. So he leaves. I think nothing of it, then he walks past about 15 minutes later, and screams from the door, I got it from, big retail store, for, whatever price, and I'm never coming back you cunt. I was a 15 year old girl. He sure showed you. The one time I worked in retail, I found a loophole. You see, as a server, you can't be rude to your customers or they won't tip you. You lose money. But in retail, if you do it right you still get your 8.50 or whatever at the end of the day. So, I was working at Bloomingdale's on Christmas Eve. Obviously, the place is a madhouse. The floor manager had just come by to tell us that we were out of gift boxes, and if a customer requested one, just to send them down to the gift wrapping station and they would have plenty. Then, this lady walks up, and as I'm checking out her things, she asks for a gift box. I'm so sorry, I say politely, genuinely upset at her misfortune, but we have run out up here. You can just pop downstairs to the gift wrapping center and pick them up. She goes nuts on me and starts yelling like it's my fault. I just ignore her and continue ringing her up. Then she says, I just had knee surgery, you expect me to go all the way downstairs for boxes? I'm thinking. What the duck you fat bitch, if you just had knee surgery, maybe you shouldn't be walking around on Christmas Eve and buying ugly socks for $15 a pair. It's ducking Christmas Eve, and I'm here in your lovely company missing my family dinner. So, without looking at her, I point behind me and say, elevators are back that way to the right. So, she throws down the rest of the socks and storms off saying something like, whatever, I don't need these anyway. And as she is walking away I cheerfully call out, Merry Christmas. The lady behind her looked at me apologetically, and I continued on my way. The loophole here is, technically I didn't do anything wrong. I was short with her, yes, but I said all the things I was supposed to say. I can't get in trouble for that. Unless my manager was a donk, which he wasn't, and if he was, I would have just told them to duck off. The sad part is, if she hadn't have been such a bitch about it, I probably would have told her to wait till my line went down, and run and gotten her some. I spent the past couple of days on a greyhound that was going across the country, Canada, and we pulled into Quebec. The security guard spoke fluent English, overheard a cell phone conversation, 
but seemed to be a massive douchebag. People who asked him if he spoke English usually did so in French, and he responded with yes, and helped them out. A little Asian girl who couldn't have been more than 15, came up and asked him if he spoke English. When I chatted with her later I found out her English was pretty raw, and she moved to Canada from Taiwan about 3 years ago. The security guard said, no English, repeatedly, and she looked distressed. She had asked a few others, but no one had really responded, and he looked like the only person working at the terminal at that moment. The ticket counters were closed, and no janitors or anything similar. She went around asking others. But the people who responded didn't know the answer she was looking for. She promptly started crying. I went over and helped her as best I could. When the security guy walked past he simply laughed at her, and called a friend on his phone where he spoke nothing but flawless English. A few days ago, while I was waiting for my food at Wendy's, I witnessed a woman order in the most condescending tone imaginable, by saying, look, I don't know your menu. I just want a quarter pounder with cheese, or whatever you call it here. The cashier, who seemed like she was pretty new there, excused herself for a moment to go check with the cook about which of their burgers she should ring up. Moments later, the manager walked up and asked her if she needed help with anything, and the customer responded with, I don't know. I was trying to order food and the cashier just wandered away in the middle of my order without saying anything. I didn't do anything about it, but this was my favorite, I have small accessories I sell for one of our product lines. One of them costs $20, and shipping and handling via the mail was $4. Perfectly reasonable. This guy went off the rails because I would not give him any deal, we have no margins on that kind of stuff, so, I'm most certainly not going to cut any big deals. He threatened he would post his sordid tale on all the popular forums that pertain to the industry. I pretty much told him to go ahead, and didn't think much about it. I come back in after the weekend, the guy went ahead and posted a bunch of new threads on all the major forums, and emailed me all the links. I checked them all, and the forum community members pretty much all told him to stop being such a cheap ass. I felt pretty smug about it after that. I'm at the grocery store and walk up to the express lane, to find myself in the middle of a confrontation. The blonde at the counter is yelling at the cashier, just shut up and do your ducking job. If you'd just scanned the items we'd be done by now. I look, and she's got way over the 8 item limit. I pipe up, what's the matter, sweetie? Can't count to 8? You must be a real blonde. Well, she goes off on me, trying to justify clogging up the express lane. I just reply, the limit is there for a reason. Why should I have to wait just because you think you're special? Well, there's a guy between me and her, and it turns out that he's the boyfriend. And he starts to get all puffy, defending his girl. I looked him right in the eye, and I said, to that cashier, pointing at the blonde, she's just another bad customer. To me, she's just a momentary source of amusement. We'll probably both forget all about her in a day or two. But you, pal, you get to go home with her. So tell me, who's looking at the fuzzy end of this lollipop? He had his back to her, but the look of deflation on his face was priceless. And the cashier must have been a little rattled as well, because I believe she neglected to scan an item or two of my purchase. A few weeks ago, I told a client that he really needed to upgrade his copies of Office 97 to the current version, if you can even call that an upgrade. I gave him a whole list of reasons why, including that Microsoft stopped releasing security updates for that version quite a while back. He flipped out and demanded that I call Microsoft, and tell them that they needed to keep releasing security updates for Office 97. When I told him it didn't exactly work that way, he said, well you just tell them who I am, and make sure they know that if they don't fix this I'll never buy another version of Office again. Just, wow. 